Trump's call to Las Vegas police recorded and everyone notices one thing different from Obama. The recent tragedy in Las Vegas where Stephen Paddock, 64, cowardly gunned down hundreds of attendees at a Jason Aldean concert resulting in the death of 59 people has highlighted the true heroes within our first responder and law enforcement community. While many people were running away from the gunfire, it was police officers and first responders running toward the gunfire. Many of our elected officials failed to appreciate this, but President Trump made it a point to speak with the head law enforcement officials in Las Vegas once he had been told of the events there. President Trump spoke with Sheriff Joe Lombardo of the Las Vegas Metro Police Department, and the call was partially recorded. President Trump told Sheriff Joe Lombardo, the fast response that you gave saved hundreds of additional people from being killed. Later in the day, President Trump held a press conference in the White House where he reiterated his comments to Sheriff Lombardo and all the other first responders responsible for saving lives. I want to thank the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and all of the first responders for their courageous efforts and for helping to save the lives of so many. The speed with which they acted is miraculous and prevented further loss of life. To have found the shooter so quickly after the first shots were fired is something for which we will always be thankful and grateful. It shows what true professionalism is all about. Conversely, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton took to Twitter to attempt to politicize the murder of innocent people. The disgraced former Secretary of State said via Twitter, the crowd fled at the sound of gunshots. Imagine the deaths if the shooter had a silencer which the NRA wants to make easier to get. Like most Democratic bottom feeders, Hillary Clinton is never one to let a tragedy go to waste. Hillary Clinton only cares about herself, her fellow Democratic lunatics, and the agenda to disarm Americans. Astute Americans not intent on putting up with Hillary Clinton's fake outrage called her out. Ohio for Trump 2020 tweeted to Hillary, at Hillary. No one wants to hear your political opinion at this time. Another play on the people's tragedy to benefit your agenda. Another Twitter user who goes by the handle at Nella Bell tweeted, PSA, maybe tone down the political rhetoric while families are still trying to find out if their loved ones are alive or dead. When tragedies like this take place, the response from the liberal left is so predictable. They do not care about law enforcement or the first responders nor do they have any concern for those killed or wounded. The liberal left, including Hillary Clinton are only concerned with furthering their anti-gun agenda at the expense of grieving families. With regard to the shooter, Stephen Paddock, it has been revealed that he had 23 firearms in his hotel room at Mandalay Bay, and he also had a handgun. Sheriff Joe Lombardo stated that Mr. Paddock brought in at least 10 suitcases into his room over a period of time indicating that this was a planned attack, and also raising the question of how or why this was missed by hotel security. When Las Vegas Metro Police figured out where the shots were coming from, they went to the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel where Mr. Paddock had his room, and an armed security guard attempted a forced entry and was shot in the leg. Immediately after the security guard being wounded, Las Vegas Metro Police SWAT team entered the room and Mr. Paddock committed suicide. President Trump's response to this tragedy in Las Vegas is refreshing. We now have a president who appreciates law enforcement, understands the vital role they play in our society, and is not shy about invoking the name of God when speaking of this horrible tragedy. Liberals however are only interested in pushing their anti-gun agenda, no matter the cost, or whom they offend. Democrats in Washington, D.C., and their liberal horde would be wise to simply stay quiet, and let families grieve in peace. Their disgraceful comments, including those from Hillary Clinton, have no relevance, nor do they bring comfort or solace to those affected by this tragedy. As one Hillary insider once said, I wish you would just shut the F. up. Up.